there are many, many, pro many problems, but we're, we're going to take it one step at a time. First big problem with what Kramnik is doing is Kramnik is someone who's from a different generation. He's not someone who grew up playing chess online. So because of that, Kramnik does not understand the massive difference between, well, maybe he does because he's been flagged a million times, but uh, Kramnik's played a lot of chess um, over the board. He has not played a lot of games online. So the difference between playing with an increment and playing without an increment is massive. And I'll give you a perfect example of this. Daniel Naroditsky, another streamer, commentator who everybody knows, he is one of the absolute best players in Blitz with no increment, or Bolt for that matter. When I play Dania at 3-0, I mean, I think I beat Dania on average, but Dania is somebody who is probably, in my estimation, he's, he's on the edge of being number three in the world in Blitz. I would say Dania in 3-0 is number three in the world alongside Ali Reza. So, um, so I, I would say that Daniel is, is number three in the world alongside Ali Reza. Of course, they can go back and forth, but without increment, he is easily number three online with no increment. Now, if Daniel were to play online with increment, he's actually played in some of the SEC qualifiers, et cetera, I would say that Daniel is not even maybe top 20 in the world. Not even top 20 in the world. Um, at, with increment. And that's just because with increment, a lot of there are a lot of these tricks are what I think Bornick referred to as the dark arts, which I'll talk about in a second. Um, but these, these sort of these dark arts tricks matter a lot less. It's more about the objective moves and the quality of the moves themselves. Whereas without increment, there are a lot of times in a game where you start making moves where you know the game will drag on, you know the mouse speed is going to come into play, and um, it is a very different situation. That's the first thing, increment versus non-increment. Second thing is offline versus online, which I'm going to talk about, which is in terms of online ratings, people have to realize that these ratings correlate with the number of games you play. And actually, when I look at the stat, you know what Kramnik should have done when he looked at the stat? He should have looked at the stat. He should have looked at these 2,900 players, and he should have been, wait a second. Like one of these guys that I beat, the Ar Ardar 16 or whatever he is, his blitz rating over the board is 2,167. His blitz rating is 2167. My my blitz rating over the board is something like 2870, I guess, or something like that. I don't know exactly. So you're talking about a 700 point differential there. Um, so if Kramnik really wanted to actually, if he was doing this in good faith and look, trying to actually figure out what's going on, he should be looking at the players who get these ratings as high. Because the truth is, there are 2900s that I will play against where I am not going to put up these scores, and there are other 2900s where I can just crush them game after game after game after game. And for everybody who's watching the other day specifically, you'll notice that after playing like one or two games, I could tell, does this guy have a style that's dangerous? Do I want to play a lot of games? How many games do I want to play? So that's the, that's the main thing. Um, um, is that you have to realize online versus offline. But then there's also another very important point which Kramnik misses, and there's this concept called farming. Now, Kramnik was, was basically saying that a lot of people have less games and they don't have streaks like mine. There is a very good reason for this as well. Now, if you log on to the internet, let's just say you're a top player. I'm just going to use Fabiano as an example. If you're Fabiano Caruana, okay, and you come online to play chess, okay, you come online to play chess, what, what is Fabiano doing when he plays chess online? Fabiano really has only like two or two or three things that he can do. Number one, play a tournament like Title Tuesday, play for prize money. Obviously, like you want to play against the best players, you want to try to win some money. Additionally, you might just want to play some practice games against other top players just so that you feel like you're in form right before a big event, whatever it might be. Like everyone's done this. Fabiano's done it. I've done it. It's like right before you play the St. Louis Rapid Blitz or something, you get online, you get on chess.com, you play a bunch of Blitz games against like the 3,000 level players, try to warm up for the event. So those are the two main reasons. Now, if you're Fabiano, do you want to log online and waste hours and hours trying to farm someone, beat them for plus one, where if you basically slip on a banana pill, you lose 15 points? No, because first of all, you're playing so much weaker, so it's not really a challenge. You know you're going to win. The goal is to just basically not slip, slip on the banana pill. On the banana pill, you lose 15 points, and then you're mad at yourself. You win like six, seven games, you lose one game, you lose 15, you're like, wait a second. I just wasted an hour of my life. What, what am I even doing? Like, what's, what am I even doing? Why, why do this? However, for people who are streamers, very specifically myself as well as Daniel Naroditsky, it's completely different because when we get adopted, when we play these blitz games, crushing people actually makes for very good content. So that's the um, that's the other thing that Kramnik does not understand when it comes to farming. So like Magnus Carlsen's a good example too. Of course, Magnus doesn't play a lot of blitz. Why would Magnus play someone at 2600 and just beat them over and over again? It doesn't do anything for Magnus. It doesn't. He's not a content creator. So for Magnus, Specifically, he's not going to do it. Fabiano is not going to do it. But Dania has content to make. I have content to make. Um, so we do that because farming is fun. It makes for a good video. If you if you adopt someone, beat them ten in a row, it's a great video. 
So that, that's another part that he misses. And then the last part that I will refer to, um, I think people mention this in statistics, obviously for the millionth time I will say this. Um, I'm obviously not a data scientist, but I did see a lot of people comment, commenting and they were saying that essentially when you look at, um, you look at streaks, essentially they're not, it's something called like independent event. I think a good way of looking at it as an independent event is like you look at Title Tuesday. Nobody ever has had two back-to-back -back scores of 11 and zero. I've done it, Magnus has done it, We've done it once and then we have not been able to do it more than one time what is the reason for that it's because a those are actually independent events and b there's no psychology because you're, you're playing completely different players and they're very strong they're not weak players too like in title tuesday you're playing the best players when, when you look at it those are independent events um when you play in title tuesday so of course nobody's ever done it i've done it like twice magus has done it twice or three times um, but we never have gone like 40 out of 40 or whatever, whatever it might be. Um, so that's the other part of it. Um, and then psych uh, general psychology, I find it very, very ironic um, that, that Kramnik can, 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 seems to not... Thank you. Kramnik seems to not understand psychology either because considering that psychology is one of the biggest reasons that Kramnik beat, um, Kramnik beat Gary Kasparov in their match, and what I mean by that is like the psychology game that Kramnik understood was like Kasparov could not admit that he couldn't tear down the Berlin Wall. So Kasparov, Kasparov ego-wise could not understand, so he kept going to the same line, wasn't able to break through. Kramnik won a couple of games with the white pieces, won the match. So the psychology is a big thing. Actually, I would argue that when I play people like 10 games in a row, if they lose the first four or five games, there's going to be a game in the next two or three where they lose a game and they blunder on like move 10. They blunder in the first 20 moves because you start getting tilted, you start blundering, you start making mistakes. Um, and that is just a part of the game. And then, of course, when you're much weaker as well, it just becomes it becomes extremely hard to overcome. That's just the bottom line. So that's really pretty much all that I have to say on the topic again.